Tolly. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. A few months ago, I stood very gingerly in the middle of um, the road um, from Gisborne to Wairau at a place called Shaw's Cut on State Highway 2, uh, which is just north of Nuhaka, and cut the ribbon on the last of about six or seven new passing opportunities that this government had funded. Four million dollars of passing opportunities on that road. And uh, one of the st uh, NZTA staff approached me and he said, Minister, he said, I just want to thank you. Um, I just want to thank you very much because he said these passing opportunities, the plans for those have been developed, they've been costed, they've been um, ready to go and stuck on the shelf all of us knowing that they were going to make that road safer, they were going to make that road more efficient for motorists, saving lives, um, saving lives but of course they never reached the threshold and they were put on the shelf for that one day when there was some extra money and you and your government and your Minister of Transport got us that extra money and I just want to say thank you. And by the way, he said, there's another couple left. Right. on the shelf. So imagine my delight on Sunday when the Prime Minister at our National Party conference got up and announced extra spending, $212 million extra spending on regional roading. And two of my passing opportunities were there in the first five. I was, I was delighted. And this is new money from the Future Investment Fund to create assets out in our regions. And I know the opposition hate it because we're out there in the regions and we understand what works. And secondly, I was delighted when in the second six projects was a bridge that's well known in my part of the world called the Motu Bridge. It's a one-way bridge on State Highway 2. And uh, when the Honourable Jerry Brownlee was in Gisborne just a, a few weeks ago, he said to me, God, everyone talked to me about the, the two-laning of the Motu Bridge and how it had to happen and how they wanted the money to do it. So there it was, announced by the Prime Minister on Sunday, a two-laning of the Motu Bridge. And I can tell you there were champagne corks popping all over Gisborne at that announcement. But hello, I read in the paper that the Labour List MP isn't welcoming this Motu Bridge investment. Um, there's someone called Moana. Uh, and order, she said, order. The member's full name, please. Someone called Moana Mackey. Oh. And she's claiming that that money of a, a couple of million, three million dollars, should have been put into the uneconomical rail line instead of the Motu Bridge. Well, actually, what she forgets is that it's going to cost three to four million every year to keep that subsidy, to keep that rail line going. Instead, we have three million odd dollars going into two laning of the Motu Bridge. She went on to say um, that she couldn't remember the last time she actually had to stop for another motorist. And she wondered why the government hadn't come up with a decent plan to create real wealth and grow jobs in the region. In the region. Well, funnily enough, not long, not long after she was in, in the paper saying that, I saw an email from a local grower. And he said that he'd noted that she never had a problem. Well, he makes the point that Dr Nana Ganesh, who's been in our area quite a lot, works for Burl, had said that... Getting produce from provincial New Zealand to market efficiently is the best form of economic development spending you can have. And for once, I agree with him. This grower went on to say, apart from the obvious, the difference between a Toyota Prius, Prius, is it? Toyota Prius, Prius? Prius that Moana Mackey apparently drives, and a 50 ton truck is the time and energy it uses getting up to speed or an efficient philo velocity. To have to stop or slow to a standstill at any point literally costs money getting back to speed. Worse if you're about to embark on a seven kilometre uphill steep gradient. This means you have to travel the whole hill two or three gears lower, therefore heaps less efficient because you couldn't maintain momentum at the bottom. This, this grower is an example of the misunderstanding from that side of the house about what it is that creates jobs That's and right. efficiencies they in produce in our region. So Moana is driving, Moana Order. Mackey is driving in her little Prius and doesn't have a problem on the bridge. But the guys who are getting their produce to market 
in order to create wealth, they know the problem. Right. Well, Mr. Speaker, I call the honourable member Chris Hipkins. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, the Labour Party has a positive plan.